What's up everybody, my name is Jonathan Hiller and I'm a filmmaker whose content you may have seen in places like these. And today I'm gonna to be reacting to Ren Money Game Part 3. But first, this is my fiance Natalie. Pretty cute. But also she's a journalist and that requires sitting in front of a computer for long periods of time. And she used to do it like this. But because of today's sponsor FlexiSpot, she now does it like this. This is the FlexiSpot 60 inch bamboo standing desk. There's a really cool keypad right on the desk and you can program height adjustments to different numbers. It's nice and spacious, so you can put all your odds and ends all over the desk. It also has a 287 pound weight capacity and a three stage lifting design. They have a huge Black Friday deal coming up, so you definitely don't wanna miss this. Click the link below and you could get up to 70% off on FlexiSpot Amazon store wide. Natalie sure likes it. She went from this to this. Thank you so much FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video and for the amazing desk. All right, let's get into the reaction. Whoa, 919? That's a long video. This will be pretty good, I imagine. Mm. What? Okay, hold on. We got to talk about this. <laughs> this is amazing. So the camera is either on a crane or a steady cam as it goes back and forth. I imagine it's a steady cam because Ren uses steady cam all the time. I love the way it starts macro, very on the fingers, and then it pulls away and reveals this beautiful wide shot with this massive grand piano. I'm assuming this is Ren because he's an incredible musician. It's hard to tell because of the bag over his head, but I think it is him. And it looks like in very much Ren style, a beautiful, very large source that's coming from above. So it looks like one light. I'm not totally sure, but it looks like that. I think it's great. It's very simple. It's beautiful. Works. And I'm very curious as to where this goes. Oh. Oh. The reflections. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, in true Ren style, incredible transitions. The way the camera twists like that, that was, gosh, Ren is so good. It's so good. And I think because he works so directly with a small group of people, he can be really, really nimble. I call this lean production. Often I say on set, ideas are horizontal, but decisions are vertical. And in smaller sets like this, you really get that horizontal idea iterating happening in real time. I've actually been on set as a director and had a problem that I could not solve. And then the gaffer said, what if you tried this? And it was totally the right call. I think this is the genius of the way that Ren works. It's a very intimate, small group of people. And I think that's why he really gets what he gets because he's trying things in real time. That's my intuition anyway. Ooh, a little switch out. Oof. Rope around the neck. Hmm. Use of reflections. It's beautiful. Shot. Unreal. 
me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy One years old and his first words were mine, mine, gimme Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city Five years old and his daddy told him Listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man a man he works for what he wants Six years old and he's reading writing Top of the bunch And when he's seven His progression made him student number one Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades Nine His parents paid for private school to nurture the flame Ten Eleven, twelve, thirteen He ascends and ascends His daddy tells him son Money is the means to all ends Fourteen Solving complex mathematic equations At fifteen IQ a hundred and fifty Still eligible Elevating. 16, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses the in cybersecurity protocols. 17, and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18, and his daddy tells him, now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 20. Okay, this is still one shot. <laughs> That's crazy. Ren is very much known for this. He uses wide lenses, he uses steady cam, and one shot almost exclusively throughout his videos. It's been said before, I forget who said it, but every cut is a lie. I think Ren instinctively knows this. I think he knows that every cut is a lie, so he does not cut. This is very much part of his persona of being incredibly authentic and real. This is why I love filmmaking so much, because these little editing decisions like no, don't cut yet. Hold that shot a little longer or hold it a whole video. Translates directly into the art coming across as more authentic or not. This is why I love that complex relationship between music and film in music videos. It's amazing. Two, he learns that truth is just an obstacle to wealth If you manipulate the data then the lie will sell itself 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name 25, and his daddy tells him Listen here son, while you're sitting in that palace That don't mean that you won 26, a business shift, he switches Ooh. business to arms He's 27, dealing new Okay, one more thing When you do a long shot like this and it's one cut the coordination, the choreography gets so incredibly complex. I imagine Ren is very much inspired by Emmanuel Lubezki, who uses wide lenses, steady cam, or handheld quite often, and he hates to cut. And what that requires from a production standpoint is a ton of coordination, a ton of choreography. It almost becomes a dance. Every movement has to be perfectly choreographed in order to really pull off what you're trying to pull off, which is almost an integrated artistic experience through the entire video. So good. Nuclear and shells in Iran 28 inside the Senate Money bought him a seat He's 29 A role of counsel in the president's suite Now he's 30 His daddy says you're losing the race You're just a servant to the king Not even in second place 31 a big maneuver for his daddy's approval Moving imports over borders From the exports out of Cuba 32 moving grams Growing kilos wow. to tons He's 33 filling warehouses With powder and guns 34 turf war with nobody to stop it Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket Thirty-five, he gets the call I'm sorry son, but it's your father Had a heart attack, I'm sorry he's gone Thirty-six, getting pissed off, abusing his product Thirty-seven, eyes glazed, disposition demonic Thirty-eight, with a prostitute, a moment of passion Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon Thirty-nine, getting reckless and hungry for power Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed they retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward A bullet buried in his vertebra And one in his leg The doctor sighs and says I don't think you'll be walking again Fuck Wow Still one shot. <laughs> the 
Well. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40 and he cursed the words, my, my, gimme. 40 when he wasn't walking, 42 not walking quickly. 43 never running round the pavements of his city. 44 inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need And his example is exaggerated versions of me And it's a version of him And it's a version of she And it's a version of you There's no escaping the blame The way we live is parasitic Fuck the money and fame Cut the music This isn't entertainment, this is real life. The way we live is lunacy, community, it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention, politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention, law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other? My solution? Well, everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd, if there's more money for me. Then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Forty-five. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wow. wet upon the wheelchair, drinking the game. Okay, hold on. Oof. Okay. Well, this is the genius of Ren. I think I'm getting a little woo woo here. <laughs> I think this is when art truly transcends into a spiritual realm or a spiritual dimension. This is when I kind of catch myself as someone who. I guess hyper focuses on one particular part of the art, the visual cues, the way the camera moves, the cuts. These are those moments that I transcend that and I see the true power of what we do as creatives. So a few things that he's doing here that I find really interesting. He's using negative space, both in terms of the music and in terms of the filmmaking, really, really beautifully here. It's like the silence allows the music to truly sing. And the way the silence in the music translates to the space between individuals, at times he's very isolated. And this has to do with the wide lens that they're using also. There's the saying that specificity breeds universality. And I think what that means is the more specific you get, the more it actually applies or it transcends into deeper narratives about society. And I think that's what he's doing so well here. He's telling a very specific story of this man named Jimmy. And that specificity is allowing us to infer deeper criticisms and critiques of society, politics, violence, all the things that he's talking about. Whew. Well, okay. <laughs> He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate With a 45 caliber aimed at his brain 45 a fitting number cause his age is the same Here's the words of his father It's such a damn shame Then he presses on the trigger of a money game
Oh, goosebumps everywhere. Uh, this is the most significant thing I've seen Ren do since Ren High Ren, which deeply, deeply affected me. Talking about mental illness, this is really about societal illness. This is really about what my favorite writer, Charles Eisenstein, calls the story of separation. When we see everyone as competitive agents in a world devouring machine. And again, the power of specificity here, he's telling such a deeply specific story of a person who went through a tragic existence. It's allowing us to see ourselves in a way that we wouldn't otherwise. Sometimes I like watch a Ren video and then the rest of my day is different. This is truly one of those days. <laughs> I feel like the rest of my day is going to be very, very different. Probably the rest of my week, maybe a month. Well, thank you so much for watching that video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.